Hi, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tammy, and today I'm gonna to be doing part two of my most complimented fragrances. So I guess I kind of left you guys hanging at the end of part one. I was telling you about a couple of perfume compliments that I had received that were kind of special. So here I am today to give you the scoop on what those perfumes were. So one that I was talking about was when I went down to the convenience store at the end of my street and as soon as I walked in through the door, a girl across the store yelled out, you smell good. <laughs> so I was like, thank you. <laughs> and so that day I had layered Armani Code and Armani Code Cashmere. So these are very strong and projecting. So it's no wonder she smelled me as soon as I walked in the door. These are both so sweet and so warm, but these have so many interesting notes, like so much warmth, woods, musk, everything is in these that just balances everything out and just makes them just perfect. I think either one of these on their own would have been enough to grab a compliment, but put them together and you have quite a dynamic duo. <laughs> So the other compliment I was talking about at the end of that video was a girl that basically painted a word picture about how girly and summery and feminine, just fresh and sweet and lovely. She just went on and on with all these descriptive words about how I smelled. I kind of wondered if anyone might be able to guess what that one was. We were sitting outside eating at the restaurant that I mentioned in part one. And this was a day that I wore just a sample. I don't have a full bottle of this. And the perfume I'm talking about is Jelena. Surprise. As soon as we sat down at the table, she was still talking about the perfume and complimenting me. I told her what it was. I had the sample in my purse, so I got the sample out. I told her to spray it on to see what she thought. And I don't know if she ever ended up purchasing it, but it's fruity, it's pretty, it's rosy. You know all about it. It's a good one. My earliest memory of ever getting a compliment was one day I was just at my house and my aunt stopped by and she gave me a hug and I was wearing CKB. This is years and years ago. This was probably in the 90s, maybe the early 2000s. And um, I still love this to this day, but this was the first one I ever remember getting a compliment on and that feeling of like, oh, wow. Like she noticed my scent and that's kind of cool. I like that. <laughs> and then in 2019, right when I was first starting to get into perfumes, I went into the bank and the teller came out to help someone into the foyer area with the ATM machines. And she was like, oh, you smell so good. What is that? And this was Julia Has a Gun, Not a Perfume. Look at the sprayer on this. Wow. Mm. This was my first big perfume purchase, actually. And that day I had been wearing a sample, but I went ahead and bought a full bottle because after testing sample after sample after sample and them all just being, you know, sweet and kind of boring, when I smelled this, my eyes bugged out of my head. I was like, oh my gosh, this is beautiful. I couldn't even describe it. I didn't know what I was smelling, but I just knew that it was different and amazing. So that's Julia Has a Gun, not a perfume. Okay, now for a little speed round, I'm just gonna give you a rundown of some of my random perfume compliments just from here and there and everywhere. And I'll just go through these really fast. I won't talk too much about the perfumes. You can always look them up and I'll pop up the notes so you can kind of get an idea what they're like. But I have so many to get through and I just want to let you know what they are. One was um, Ceruti 1881 or Ceruti 1881. I never know how to call it. It's an Italian name, so I really don't know how it's pronounced. Oh my word, this one is so soft and pretty. And uh, the lady that owned the cafe from the first video, she was catering an open house for my son's um, geodesic dome that he rents out. And I was helping her set up for the catering and she was like, oh, what are you wearing today? That is so pretty. And it was this one. I have received a compliment before on Roberto Cavalli EDP. Um, that was from my cousin, the first one that hugged me and complimented me on Lancha D in the first video. And she also really liked the Roberto Cavalli EDP. I have been told I smelled delicious before when I have worn Good Girl by Carolina Herrera. One time we were outside in the yard when we were loading up the trailer, getting my son ready to go to university. One of his friends was out there helping and she said, I absolutely love your perfume. Well, I didn't even remember what I had sprayed because it was so much earlier that day and I didn't smell it on myself anymore. So I had to go back in the house and look and it was Lacoste Pour Femme. And this is one I absolutely love wearing. This is so powdery and so cozy. Mm, just like a warm hug. So this is another one I've gotten a compliment on. Another one I just thought of, my friend, one time she hugged me. We were out at the school for an event and we had our masks on and she hugged me. She said, you smell amazing as always. And that was Narciso Ombre. So that's a really good strong one, a tropical but musky and powdery scent. 
Um, just imagine like one of your most beachiest beachy scents and then you surround it with musk and powder. That's what you're gonna get with this. Now I'm gonna tell you about the compliments that I have received from my parents. My parents live right next door. In fact, in my sample sniff video part one, uh, I was sitting on the couch and you could see out the window and there was a house through the window you could see, that's my parents' house. Every time we go over for Sunday dinner, my dad always kisses me on the forehead and my mom always gives me a hug and they'll usually compliment whatever perfume I'm wearing. But what I remember in particular was um, my dad said, you smell divine. And he acted like he was all weak in the knees. He's like, oh, that is so good. And that was Let's Be Real by Confessions of a Rebel. This is just a beautiful jasmine and vanilla combination, basically. The weird thing is sometimes when jasmine and vanilla are together, it kind of gives me a chocolatey sensation. I don't know if it's just me. This is absolutely beautiful. I love this one. One day when I wore Versace for scents over to my parents, my mom hugged me. She said, oh, you smell so good. I just love your scents. <laughs> I thought that was so cute. Mm. Of course, this one is so bright and citrusy. It's light and it's perfect for summer. Yeah, this is a nice one. I'm gonna be wearing this one this summer. There's a spot we often go out for walks out at the airport and I was out walking one day and lo and behold, I noticed my parents were out there walking too. This was in the middle of winter. And of course, when we crossed paths, we stopped and gave each other hugs. And they both said how good I smelled. And I was wearing Dahlia Devine Nude by Givenchy. This is actually a perfume that my son purchased for me for my birthday when I very first got into perfumes. And this one smells pretty much like Armani C, just to give you an idea what it smells like, but it's a really pretty one. One time I wore Yes I Am by Cacharelle over to my parents and my mom said, that's a real good perfume. I thought that was so cute. This is so oh, deep and sweet and fruity. I really like this one and it's super affordable. And another one my mom raved about was Le Nuit Tresor Musk Diamant by Lancome. Um, this is a really musky, fresh, soapy, raspberry kind of smell. It's hard to describe, but it is really pretty. I really love this one, and so did she. <laughs> My sister has complimented me on more perfumes than I can even remember. I was trying to think, like Guerlain Terracotta. She's complimented me on... Sophia by Sophia Vergara. I mentioned that in my first video though, so that doesn't really count. Oh, so many. All, everything I've ever worn around her, she's complimented me on. She's so sweet, I love her. So now on to my husband's family. I talked a little bit in my last video, but I have a few more compliments to share. When we went down to visit for Michael's mom's birthday last time, his grandmother was there and I hugged her as we went to leave and she said, oh, don't you smell nice? And I was wearing Sol de Janeiro Cheriosa 62. I mean, I think that this would get you compliments no matter who it was, but I thought that was so special. I'm always gonna remember that compliment. Now, you probably know about this. It is a caramel and pistachio dream come true. It's so good. And another one my husband's dad likes on me is Chanel Allure. One time he was complimenting me on this and I was like, oh, you noticed that? And he said, I smelled you as soon as you arrived. So, mm, this would kind of remind you of Michael Kors Sexy Amber or Victoria's Secret Amber Romance. It's, it's in that same vein. It's very ambery, floral, beautiful. I love this one. So one night around Christmas time, everyone arrived here at the house at once. Michael's parents and his sister and my son was coming home from university and everyone arrived here at once and everyone was giving hugs. And um, I have a scentbird decant of this one that everybody raved about. Everybody went crazy over. Um, I had to give Michael's sister the name of it. My son was like, that's a good one, mom. It, like everybody went wild over this. This is, I'm not sure the name of it. I know it's Michelle Germain. Michelle Germain, orange blossom, orange blossom garden and French vanilla. What you got with this is something similar to like Viva La Juicy by Juicy Couture or something like that. It's very sweet, but there's something a little more to it than just your typical vanilla fruity scent. It's really sort of elevated up from that. So everybody went wild over it. And I, you know, I'd consider getting a full bottle, but I still have quite a bit left in my decant. So, well, actually I'm getting down on that. So, hmm. I don't know, I'm gonna think about it. So that's Michelle Germain, Orange Blossom Garden and French Vanilla. So Michael's cousin and his family live on the mainland. And one time we were away running errands in the city overnight and he gave his cousin a call and wondered if he and his wife wanted to come out to dinner with us. 
I had just gotten Prada candy because my husband had bought me um, one of those things where you get the samples and you get to choose one of the samples. You have a certificate that you can pick up a full size. And because everything else was just very, very sweet, like Le Bille Bell and Black Opium, and I wasn't really interested in those, I went with Prada candy because it was different. So I wore that out to dinner that night. And when we arrived, his cousin was there first. He gave me a hug and he said, someone smells good. He said, is that you, Michael? <laughs> But anyway, he mentioned again and he wanted to know the name of it. So I told him it was Prada Candy. So a few minutes later, his wife arrived. I gave her a hug as well. And she was like, oh my goodness, you smell good. At that time, when you went into the restaurant, you had to wear your masks. So she pulled down her mask and she got closer to me and started sniffing me. And she wanted to know the name of it as well. So I told her it was Prada Candy. This is very musky. It's almost cocoa powdery to me. Um... There's a lot more to it than that, but that's the general vibe I get from it. I really enjoy wearing this one to bed. It's very comforting and cozy, and it's also a compliment getter. Now on to the most important two people in my life that I want to get compliments from, and that's my husband and my son, my boys. <laughs> to sum it up, for my husband, I would say his favorites on me would be uh, Swiss Arabian Casablanca, which is like, oh, sexy caramel apple. I won't take it out of the box. It's in here. One of his newest favorites on me is, again, the La Nuit Tresor Must Diamant. He absolutely raves about this every time I wear it. A longtime love of his on me is Moonlight by Ariana Grande. I used to wear this to bed, oh, like, five nights a week. This is such a pretty, like, plummy marshmallow scent. I love this. And I even like the pom-pom. <laughs> Another one of my husband's favorites is always Yes I Am by Cacharel. He just can't resist this one. He loves it. And Let's Be Real by Confessions of a Rebel. He loves that too. My son has given me a couple of interesting compliments before. Once he was working out in the garage and I went out, I had two samples on, one on each hand, and he told me I smelled really nice. And I said, oh, is it this one? I had Vanilla Vibes on one hand and I had Sarah Jessica Parker Lovely on the other hand. I was sure it was Vanilla Vibes he was smelling and that he was complimenting me on. And I got him to smell it. He's like, no, it's not that. Sarah Jessica Parker Lovely. He's like, yeah, that's it. I was like, really? That's the one you like? Because I don't love that one. But I said, so what does it smell like to you? And he said, it smells like pink. <laughs> so that was interesting. And another time I was wearing Juliet Has a Gun White Spirit. I only have, a, actually I have two samples of that. Um, it's one that I've always wanted to smell because I felt like it would be right up my alley. And I do like it. And he was doing something out on the deck and I went outside and he's like, oh, that's a good one. He said, it's on the verge of being almost a little bit like too old lady. <laughs> but he said, but it's still good. But his absolute favorite on me is Let's Be Real by Confessions of a Rebel. This is amazing. It's, it's just sweet. It's almost chocolatey. It's vanilla, it's jasmine, it's uh, sugar and spice and everything nice. No, I don't think there's any spice in it. <laughs> it's so good. And now I've got to the point where when I know he's coming home from school, I'll wear this one because I know as soon as he gets through the door, he's gonna be like, oh, that's a good one. You smell good. Oh. Yeah, so I would say this is my son's top, top favorite on me and I get so many compliments from him on this one. Now, my top compliment getter from both my husband and my son, hands down, is Tropical Nights by Sol de Janeiro. And this is discontinued, I'm so sorry. It was a limited time summer release. Um, it is... I mean, basically it's vanilla. You can get the same sort of scent from Black Opium Le Parfum. Um, that one has got like three or four different types of vanilla in it. And it really reminds me of this one if you want to get the same type of compliments. Now, I've been really craving to wear Black Opium Le Parfum and I'm going to wear that some and I'll update you if I get lots of compliments on this. But hands down, every time I wear this, my husband and my son both absolutely love it. So I would recommend if you don't have this and you can't get your hands on it, I would try Black Opium Le Parfum and see what kind of compliments you get with that. So those were my most complimented fragrances. I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, let me know what are your most complimented fragrances. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you next time. Bye.